Hi there, thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue. Today's topic is don't be the last to know that your relationship is in trouble. Now I know right now things are really scary for a lot of people and so everything's becoming very, very intense at home, within yourself, stresses, everything. But I'm talking about just everyday things that maybe over the past year you've noticed or maybe you just haven't really paid attention to. And some of those things that you need to be aware of are, how's the communication at home? Are you finding that you're doing separate things? That you're more spending more time with your friends? Or all of a sudden now your relationship's turned into a threesome? And I don't mean that kind of threesome. I mean where there's a buddy always hanging or a girlfriend always over. So there's somebody to be a buffer because you're not communicating. Somebody to take that pressure off the silence was going on within your relationship. It's super, super important that you always take care and nurture the love with your partner. I know it's easier said than done because we get busy, but the problem is we're too busy sometimes that we don't prioritize what we should be. Family, your, your love life, all that stuff comes way before anything else. But I know that sometimes the stresses of money and not having it causes you to work more hours and then you're pulled away from the home more. Well, the problem with this is the more you're pulled away from the home, the more you pull away from your relationship. So this is a double-edged sword here. This is not a good situation. You need to compromise and make sure that everything is balanced. A lot of people say that, oh yes, as you've been together for a long time, the sex changes. It becomes a lot less because you, yeah, the romance isn't quite as intense as it used to be. And of course, that's just the way it is in life. But it doesn't mean it has to stay that way. You have to make an effort. And I know sometimes we let that go on the back burner because we think, oh, we've got all these other things to do and whatever. If your sex life is getting to the point of being nil, there's nothing going on, you have a problem. You need to make sure that the romance and intimacy in your relationship are intact. If you've got that connection, that intimate connection, as well as the friendship, the communication, you've got an amazing partnership. But if you start letting one of those aspects go in your relationship is when you start going sideways. You don't assume that it's okay not to touch, not to hug, not to kiss for weeks on end. Because that will be the demise of your partnership because one person will start feeling insecure that what's going on, why are they not being this romantic with me, why, why are they not wanting to touch me anymore and then it causes a lot of insecurities within the relationship. If you can make yourself, and I know sometimes it's hard, I'm not saying it's always easy, but if you can make yourself pay attention to that before it gets to that level of it's been three months, four months or whatever, don't let it go that long because that is the glue of your relationship. Intimacy, romance, communication, all that stuff. It's super important to keep that alive. It's really the little things that keep a relationship super strong and happy. If you talk to people, what's the secret? How come you've been together for 15, 25 years, whatever? They always say that they put each other first. They do little things for each other. They don't let those little things slide to the bottom of the priority list. Another thing, don't start sort of looking at other people's relationships and start comparing them to your own. Well, they're the same as we are, so what's wrong with that? Or you're gossiping about somebody's relationship that isn't really good right now. Well, is yours that good? This is the thing, like don't start looking misery loves company, you know what I mean? Because then you start talking about it more and more and more about what isn't really working rather than fixing what isn't working. I know you can do it, I know you can bring it back to a good level if you're both on board and paying attention to these little red flags of things that are screwing up in your relationship. It's not hard to figure out if you're not having sex, you're not being romantic, you're not saying nice things to each other, you're not doing little things for each other, you're not planning little fun ventures together, and you're living almost a separate life. There's a big problem and it's only a matter of time. And right now with everything going on, it's more important than ever to nurture your partnership, nurture the love in your relationship with your family, with your friends, with everybody right now. So don't be the last to know that your relationship is in trouble. Because if you're not doing all those things that I talked about, and there's a few of those big ones missing, it's going to be sort of a downhill slope for you. And 
you may not even know that your partner has checked out. Maybe they've tried to get all these things into your relationship and you're not adhering to them or you're not being on, on the same page with them. And listen to them. If they're saying something over and over again, like, you know, that, oh, we're not making love or, you know, you never kiss me anymore or any of those kind of things, pay attention. Because if they're talking about it and it's being re repeated to you over and over again, they mean what they're saying and they want you to know that it's an issue. So don't sweep that stuff under the rug. Hear what your partner says, communicate with your partner. You can be happy for a really long time, but it is a full-time job. It really is, and that's not a bad thing. Thanks everyone for listening to Dear Cyber C today. Stay safe, take care of each other. Bye-bye.